Hello, um, I've had a request to do a simple tutorial video on Linux terminal commands um, because they are very handy, although somewhat daunting to new users, but they can increase your produ productivity um, even by a little, and they, it saves going through your going through the graphical interface every time you want to do something simple. So I'm going to start off with um, folder and file commands, really simple ones, I may miss a few out um, because I didn't know about them. Um, but let's start off now with um, print working directory, pwd. There we go. This will show which directory you're currently in and it's just useful for knowing where you are if it's not displayed next to your name here. The next useful command is cd, which um, change directory. You can change it if any directory you want. It's very useful because it just allows you to go um, anywhere on your file system, um, as long as you know the path for it. You can use tab completion, which is very handy, um, much quicker than typing the whole file name out and make sure you get it right every time. To go back a folder, you can use um, two dots. The full stop, ellipses, whatever, cd dot dot, and that'll take you back a folder. As you can now see, I'm no longer in the help folder. Um, you can use the ls command to display files in your folder. Um, it has a option to display it in column format, which is very handy for making it clearer. Um, clear display format. All of these commands will have options of some sort which I'm not going to go into with um, much detail because it would take a long time. Your best option would be to read um, either the help which is usually dash dash help. That will give you information about the command or you can read the man file which is man space then the name of the um, function or command that you're trying to use and they're very handy um, I advise you to read that if you're stuck on using a command because th they have a lot of information in them okay back to the command line I'll go back into my help folder I'm in home I'll add help um, and I'm going to show you how to make a directory um, it's quite easy, it's mkdir um, make directory and then you put the name of the directory you want so I'll put directory so if ls, there it is, there's the new directory you can remove a directory using rmdir, remove directory tab completion again so you make sure that you don't make a mistake and there we go, if I do ls it's not there anymore another creation command is touch let you create a file of some sort. So text.txt or create a text file. There it is. You can view what's in that file by using cat. Um, although it has nothing in it, which um, brings me on to um, the nano text editor. You can use Vi, Emacs, Nano or even a, a GUI one like um, I don't know, get it, which is very handy. Um, but I'll go nano text text and here we can put some text in okay, we save it using the um, if you look here at the bottom it has different commands you can use to save and quit so I'll control O and control X to exit now we can view what's in that file using cat and there it is some text literally some text you can then remove a file using RM which is short for remove. Do that, it's no longer there. And so that they're the basic commands really for um, messing with text and folders, um, no files and folders sorry. Um, there's much more to use but these are the simple ones that I think are kind of useful. Um, I might do another video with some more advanced commands um, or other commands that are just useful but we'll see. Uh, thank you for watching.